Much of Huawei's rise as a smartphone manufacturer has been rattled by the laws and regulations placed on it by the USA government. And as we know, the USA government is now different from the one that actually placed these regulations on Huawei. So things could change in the near future. However, this speculation hasn't stopped Huawei from developing its own software ecosystem known as Harmony OS to tackle any sort of situation like this in the upcoming future. I recently had a chance to check out Huawei's new super device collection, which includes a new tablet, some new monitors, and a whole lot more. You can actually check out my full thoughts over on GN Tech from the card above, but I do wanna say, things are looking pretty promising. Hardware features aside, I really liked how the software was so effortless in connecting all of these different devices together. I liked how you could connect your tablet to the bigger monitor without any wires, or the fact that you could cross-collaborate with a Huawei laptop running Windows, and the new 12.6-inch Huawei MatePad Pro with a single mouse or keyboard, and dragging and dropping files was done with ease. This feature has been around for quite some time with Huawei products, allowing you to collaborate with your smartphone and your computer with ease. And this sort of is similar to the universal control feature we got from Apple at WWDC. But what's particularly impressive about this one is that it's cross-collaborating between different operating systems not controlled by the same company. This is between Windows and Harmony OS, whereas with Apple, it's still linked with the company's ecosystem. Personally, the potential here is phenomenal and I can really see other companies jump on board and allow for this environment for cross-collaboration between products and borrow some components of Harmony OS along the way as well. I'd actually like to bring in Danish from Dan Talks here, who was also part of the event. He also saw all of these features in action and he has some very valid points on why Harmony OS is the thing to look out for in the future. So the floor is yours, Danish. Thanks for having me here, Vaibhav. Now, as he mentioned, him and I got to check out Huawei's latest products coming to the UAE with Harmony OS 2.0. I've always said this, if there's a company out there who can bring competition as far as OSs are concerned to iOS and Android, it's Huawei. And here are three reasons I think they're making all the right moves. Huawei's super device concept is proof that Huawei has always seen the benefits of working with an ecosystem rather than individual products. If you follow the brand, you know that their OnePlus 8 Plus N strategy has existed for a while now. Co-working between devices, transferring files between them and all your devices working in unison will be one of the reasons that people in the future will choose Harmony OS. The exponential adoption rate of developers putting their apps on Harmony is the second reason people will like it. Take the UAE for example. Loads and loads of local apps such as RTA, Dewa, Do, Ati Salat, loads of banks such as FAB, Talabat, food delivery apps, and so many more have already got their apps on the Huawei app gallery. This will make it a much easier decision for people living here to switch over. And the last reason would be its price. A company like Apple charges a hefty price for their ecosystem. I believe that Huawei will come and offer their ecosystem platform at a much more affordable price. So that's where Harmony OS stands at the moment. Danish's points on the whole ecosystem being much more affordable than other counterparts and the fact that Huawei is targeting local services, especially in the UAE, makes adoption much, much easier. And I'm really excited to try out some of these experiences for myself in the next couple of weeks and months when we start getting these products for ourselves. Thanks once again to Danish for being a part of this video. His social links, including his YouTube and Instagram are all down in the description. Definitely check him out. And while you're down there, let me know what you guys think about Harmony OS. Do you think it is the future? drop a comment down below. So as always, thank you guys for watching. This was Vabov. Do leave a like and a subscription if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.